guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited to share with you guys another what's in my bag video. I do have quite a few of these on my channel already, but I really, really love these videos so much. It was the first video I ever did on my channel. I have like a couple hundred videos on my channel and I just, I still love them. What I'm going to share with you guys today is my newest bag to my collection. I absolutely love it. It was a gift from my husband for our seven year wedding anniversary and my birthday combination. So we were married for seven years this September, so it's really exciting. And I think we've been together for like 12 or 13. It's been a long time. Um, we met in high school, so that's why it's been like an eternity. But we actually were in France for our friend's wedding and he thought what better time than to let me pick out something that I wanted and it just worked out really well and I'm really excited about it. What better place to buy a bag than France? So I've been eyeing this bag for a long time and it's been on my radar and I got to see it, actually feel it and I loved it. So I went with a color that I wouldn't have normally gone for but I really really love it and I think it's beautiful I do still think it's a classic color even though it's a little bright and this might not be everybody's taste but I feel like this bag itself is definitely worth looking at and I when I was looking to buy this um, before we even went over there I had looked on it looked at it on Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's and even Neiman Marcus carries it as well. So I was like researching and researching it and I could not find really any videos on this bag at all. And I'm really surprised because Longchamp has such a great following for their Le Pliage, I think it is, like the fold up travel bags. Everybody loves those and so many people have them. And it's such a great product that I was really shocked to see that I don't really see many people like having their leather goods. So. I liked it a lot online and when I saw it in person I really fell in love with it. Let's jump right into it and see what's in the bag. I really love the color. It's coming up a little bit brighter, a little more um, like apple red. It's a little toned down in person. It's not quite as vibrant. It's just a really beautiful red and I think it looks great with everything. Whether you're dressing it up or down, I really feel like it just goes with everything. Okay, so inside well first on the outside the handle drop is really nice and you can comfortably fit it on your shoulder um, it's really not uncomfortable to carry it like that at all I still have some space the only thing is how wide you stuff it will kind of determine how much room you have under your arm these straps I love because you can cinch the bag in and give it a totally different shape so you can kind of cinch it in like that, which I'll show it to you guys cinched in once I have it emptied out. And then another thing I love about this bag is the zipper closure. So you can totally zip it up and it has a cute little pull with a leather tab and it will keep pretty much everything inside your bag from falling out. So this is going to be a great work tote, really great for traveling. Um, I really love it. The other thing that I'm drawn to is just like the tassels, these little extra details I think are really nice, really great quality, and the stitching on the handles is beautiful, so I'm very happy with all of that. I'm going to move the camera so you guys can kind of see the bag as I pull the stuff out. Okay, so hopefully you guys will be able to see how this all fits in here. The first thing that was in the pocket is just my cell phone. This is an iPhone 6S. I really love it, and this case is from Henry Bendel. My mom actually picked this out for me, and it just has my initials hot stamped on it. Really cute. This makes a really great gift. I got this for Mother's Day, so that was really sweet, and I would definitely um, recommend these. I think they're really cute, and I love the classic stripe. So that's the first thing in there. I'm going to just pull from the middle section first. So I have my wallet and the reason I have this wallet in here right now is because we were traveling and this wallet's great because you can easily fit your passport in there. You can It has card holder slots and it also has a detachable string. I know this is kind of crazy but we've been all over the place lately. So this is great. You can attach this little chain and it is essentially a wallet on a chain from Michael Kors. This is really nice. This was also a gift from my parents. Um, it's like a Safiano leather with gold. I really love it has a pocket in the back. It's It was perfect for traveling. I'm going to do a whole separate review on this because I can't say enough good things about it. The price point is extremely reasonable and you can fit your passport and your cell phone in there if you have an iPhone 6. Um, I don't think you'll be able to squeeze the plus in here but this was amazing for traveling. So I still have this in there 
just because we just recently got back. Okay, the next thing in here is my planner. And sometimes this is in my bag, sometimes it's not. This is the Filofax uh, personal size planner. I really love it. It just has the gold and black inserts in it from Michaels. I think it's super chic, really pretty. And it's been working out really well for me to keep in my purse. So, yeah, nothing too crazy in there, but I like having this on me for when I'm out, you know, during the day. The next thing is this little essentials bag and I love this it's from Rebecca Minkoff this is um, leather has a gold zipper and I just beat this thing up and it still looks pretty good the ascent this is kind of wearing down a little bit but I've had this for a while now and the leather just keeps getting softer and softer and I feel like you can squish so much stuff into this and this thing is like jam-packed I have a ton of random stuff in here I'll show you some of the fun stuff. Uh, the first thing I have is a YSL lipstick that has seen better days. This packaging is beautiful, but it definitely does not hold up well. Like, it is scratched. It's all kind of tarnished. It's still beautiful, though. Um, this is just a really pretty nude color, and it's in the shade 6. It's a Rouge Pure Couture. I really do love that color. I have some Aleve in here just in case. These I'm actually obsessed with, these little Bath & Body Works. Um like hand sanitizers. I have the flavor Peach Bellini and it smells really good and I feel like it doesn't dry out my hands like the other antibacterial hand sanitizers do. So I love this and I have a couple of those on hand. The next thing is a YSL press powder. This is so old. This is the Matte Touch um, Compact. I just keep this in here for touch-ups and again this packaging has seen better days but this is this is pretty old you guys. Um, but I do like that powder. I like their cosmetics a lot. The next thing I have is a YSL bronzer. This is from when I used to work at the counter and I just haven't gone through this stuff. It's in shade 3. It's a nice bronzer. It's not strong enough that I would use it um, like in the begin like to put my makeup on, but if I'm in a pinch and I don't have anything else on, I'll throw some of this on. It's very natural looking, but the formula is nice. Okay, then I have some Vaseline. Love that stuff. A couple little travel makeup brushes. Um, I also have a mini NARS blush. I have some Shopkins Band-Aids. If you guys don't know, this is the first video. I have a four-year-old daughter. So I have some Shopkins Band-Aids. Those are a necessity. I have some Altoids in here. What else? A makeup wipe. I don't even know. I think I got this from a hotel we stayed at, and I thought it was a great idea to have, like, individual packages of face wipes like how great is that so I just keep this in here in case I'm at the gym or anything like that I have some Apple headphones two lip liners I have max whirl and rimmel so the next thing I have in here is another lip product and this is from my sister-in-law my brother-in-law just got married and she's super sweet they live in Germany he also is in the military they're nurses and she sent this to me, and it is such a good lip gloss, you guys. It's the Dior, uh, Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, and it's essentially just a clear gloss, but it kind of has a plumping effect to it. It is so good. I've been reaching for this all the time. It's like minty. It's tingly. The packaging is beautiful. I absolutely love it. It was so nice of her to send that to me. Super sweet, and I'm obsessed with it. Like, this will definitely be a repurchase for me, and I love it because you can put it on no lip color or on top of any lip color and it just looks really great so I love that the next thing in here in the middle is just my iPad this is such an old iPad and basically my daughter has confiscated it so I keep this in here we just went out to lunch with our friends so I always bring this with me just in case um, she gets bored or we're out longer than I had anticipated I don't give it to her unless she's really like kind of getting tired and is really bored so we didn't have to use it today, but I keep that and my headphones for her in there just in case because if she wants to watch a movie or something like that, no one else in the restaurant wants to hear like Zootopia for the 17th time. So I keep that just in case, but it's good to have or just headphones in general with your phone. I always keep something on hand for her. Um, the next thing I have is my sunglasses case. My sunglasses are downstairs. But I love this case because it completely folds up flat and then you can fit your sunglasses in there. But then if you're not wearing them, it folds up like an envelope. It's so genius. Okay, so that is the inside completely empty. 
So now in the back zipper pocket, I just have some wet ones, antibacterial wipes. I love to have these on me. They're great for cleaning up messes or just, you know, germs in general. Uh, there's a ponytail and then the little long chant booklet. And in here you do have a key fob, which I haven't used yet, but it's just a little leather um, tab that's connected to the bag that you can easily pull your keys out which is good because I have a like I don't need to actually stick the key to my car in there so I should really just attach it because as long as it's in my bag my car will start um, I just have my car keys my gym pass on there and then that was in the one little media pocket so you get two really big size pockets they're almost a little bit too floppy like they're huge you could fit like I feel like you could fit at least two cell phones in each pocket and so in this pocket you just have a little pottery barn card these little mints which I picked up in the Paris airport I thought they were super cute and the mints themselves actually have little Eiffel towers on them so I thought that they were super cute so the last two things I have in that media pocket are just a Mac prep and prime with a Sephora sponge this is just a clear translucent powder. This is also super old. I keep it in my bag for touch-ups. And I have a Bare Minerals uh, Slay Matte Liquid Lipstick, which is one of my favorites as well. So I have those in there. And that's it. That's everything in the bag. I want to show you guys what it looks like when it's cinched so that you can see you can make it smaller. So all you would want to do is kind of fold this side in, like just poke it in a little bit. And then you take the tassel and you would just pull the tassel and that will hold it in and it gives it a square shape versus a rectangular shape and it gives you kind of that pleated effect on the side that you kind of see with some of the Saint Laurent bags it's not as pleated as that but that's what it kind of reminds me of on the side so it gives you a smaller more compact more purse size shape instead of a full-on tote bag so depending on what you carry and how much you have you can kind of shrink it up a little bit and I do really love that it has a zipper at the top uh, the only thing I would say is a negative for this bag is the bottom is kind of floppy when I have all my stuff in there it's really not an issue at all but the leather is much softer and more malleable than I thought it would be and I think it's because it's the pebbled leather and not like a Saffiano leather. So it's a little, um, like it's a little bit more squishy, but it, it's gorgeous. The color is really nice. The handles are really sturdy. The only thing that I would have liked to see on a bag at this price point are feet, like the little metal feet on the bottom. I hope that you guys found this video interesting. I know it was probably a little bit long-winded, but... I wanted to give you guys as much information on the bag as possible because when I was looking to purchase it, I couldn't really find many. I think I only found one video about it. So I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions with you guys if you're in the market for it. I would definitely go and check it out. I think it's really beautiful and I think it's a really classic bag. I think it's really pretty. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's in my bag and I'll catch you in the next video.